Jeff Gordon, the NASCAR legend and Hendrick Motorsports vice president, has sparked controversy with his recent comments about the penalties handed down by NASCAR. During a pre-race interview, he dropped a bombshell by discussing the widely held belief on pit road about the single source parts used in NASCAR races. He said, there's a narrative going around that with single source parts, you're not allowed to touch them. NASCAR says you're not allowed to touch or modify them. But I can guarantee you that up and down this grid, there isn't a single car that hasn't in some way been touched or modified or done something to one of those single source parts. These words were intended as a criticism of the parts manufacturer, but they were received as a shocking allegation of widespread rule breaking among the NASCAR teams. The tension was palpable as Jeff Gordon's words echoed across the track, raising questions about the integrity of the sport and the actions of other teams. With just a few words, Jeff Gordon has thrown everyone else under the bus and the NASCAR community is left to grapple with the implications of his statements. Just days after NASCAR dealt a severe blow with fines totaling $400,000 to the four teams under the HMS umbrella, William Byron and Kyle Larson found themselves caught up in other drivers' wrecks at the Atlanta race, resulting in a disappointing DNF for both. But Jeff Gordon, the legendary NASCAR Hall of Famer, isn't one to go down without a fight. He spoke out on Fox's pre-race show, asserting the team's stance on the recent penalties. We feel like if our integrity is being questioned, we're going to push back, he said, with a fire in his voice. The statement alone is enough to send shockwaves through the NASCAR community, but the truth is, Jeff Gordon's words are just the tip of the iceberg. The team is appealing the penalties and fighting back against what they see as an unjust attack on their reputation. However, before Jeff Gordon and HMS jump into the fray, they might want to let Cowlig Racing do some of the heavy lifting. The team has been on a roll lately, and their recent success could serve as a powerful counter-argument against NASCAR's penalties. Kendrick Motorsports is not going to sit idly by and watch their name be tarnished. Jeff Gordon's words may have seemed insane to some, but to fans of the sport, they're a rallying cry for justice. During the interview on Fox, Gordon also claimed, that NASCAR had not said anything to the team about a potential violation until after a practice session had already taken place. This is a stark contrast to the situation with Brad Keselowski a year ago in Atlanta. In that instance, Keselowski had qualified and raced with a modified part, which was only discovered after the car was sent to the R&D center. However, the HMS cars had qualified and raced with new parts that satisfied NASCAR's standards. NASCAR will argue that cars are under their control as soon as the haulers arrive at the track, but the appeals panel may view this as an overreach of authority. Although this particular statement by Jeff Gordon will not have a direct impact on the appeal by Hendrick Motorsports, it has the potential to ruffle the feathers of executives and crew chiefs from other Cup Series teams. But Gordon, who is known for his no-nonsense mentality, was unwavering in his defense of Hendrick Motorsports during the interview. He emphasized the organization's precision and attention to detail, which has been a key factor in their success over the years. Hendrick Motorsports prides ourselves on precision, he said. The detail with which we build our race cars is part of our success, but we also do it with integrity and respect for the rules and how NASCAR governs those. With these powerful words, Jeff Gordon has sent a clear message to the NASCAR community. Hendrick Motorsports is a team to be reckoned with and they will not back down in the face of adversity. The Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman, William Byron, and Josh Berry teams from HMS were penalized for violating the policy regarding parts from a single source supplier, while Cowley League Racing's number 31, Chevy driven by Justin Haley, received the same punishment. However, Hendrick Motorsports and Cowlig Racing are not going down without a fight. Both teams are appealing the penalties which include $100,000 fines for the crew chiefs, 100-point driver and owner deductions, and 10-point playoff deductions. The teams will argue that the manufacturer's parts did not meet the specified specifications, and Cowlig Racing's case could be particularly convincing. Why would the team only modify one louver if both of the ones they received from the vendor were identical. 
This appeal could have far-reaching implications for the sport as it calls into question the integrity of the parts used in NASCAR races. With both Hendrick Motorsports and Cowlig Racing fighting back against the penalties, it's clear that these teams are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. It will be interesting to see how this plays out, but one thing is for sure, both Hendrick Motorsports and Cowlig Racing are not going down without a fight. The appeal process will be a crucial moment for the sport, as it will determine the future of the single source parts policy and the regulations surrounding the use of these parts in NASCAR races. It seems like the folks at NASCAR are about to feel the full weight of the burden of proof crashing down upon their shoulders like a ton of bricks. That's right, the fate of this appeal rests entirely on their ability to prove the validity of their case. The success of Cowdig Racing's appeal could potentially have far-reaching implications for NASCAR as a whole. If the three-person panel were to agree with Cowlig Racing's point and find that NASCAR's argument is flawed, this could call into question the credibility of the entire system. It could also create a precedent for future appeals as other teams may try to use the same argument to appeal penalties or other rulings. On the other hand, if the appeals panel does not find in favor of Cowlig Racing, this could set a precedent for NASCAR to crack down even harder on teams that try to push the limits of the rules. It could also be seen as a warning to other teams not to try to exploit loopholes or other gray areas in the rules. Ultimately, the outcome of this appeal will depend on the arguments presented and the decision of the three-person panel. However, regardless of the outcome, it is clear that the stakes are high and the impact of this decision could be felt for years to come. The officials are likely to concede inconsistencies in the manufacturing of the parts but they will argue that they have communicated with the teams about the permissible modifications needed to make the parts fit properly. However, NASCAR officials say that their inspection at the R&D center revealed changes that went beyond the approved modifications. If the appeals panel agrees with this point, then Hendrick Motorsports can forget about wiping out the penalties entirely. In that case, the team will have little left to argue, aside from the chain of events that took place over the weekend in Phoenix. Will NASCAR be able to defend their case and prove the validity of their penalties? Or will Jeff Gordon and his team be able to drive their way to a victory in the appeals process? But one thing is for sure, Jeff Gordon's words have lit a fire that will not be easily extinguished, and this appeal process will be a crucial moment for NASCAR. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the NASCAR Today for all the latest updates and news from the world of NASCAR.